So what drew you into the movie? I know you get to ask that a lot, but what drew you into this project? You know, I'm always drawn in by, by the story. So the story of When the Game Stands Tall is the story of, of, a, of a very successful high school football team, De La Salle, um, the De La Salle Spartans, a Catholic high school in Northern California. Um, so first I'm interested in why, why did they win so much? How could they have this streak? And then I'm challenged by the fact that well, who wants to watch a movie where they win all the time, you know? So we found a place in their story where that is challenged, where that streak is challenged, where those characters are challenged, where, you know, you have another a team in a particular year um, uh, which may not be buying into the entire program. And so what are, those, what are those challenges? We had a tragedy that happened in that year, in 2004, uh, that they ha had to overcome. The coach has a big health scare that they have to overcome, uh, as well as sort of buying into the principles of the program. So it was just an inspiring story that I, I wanted to tell. When you do a movie like this, do you feel any added pressure to make sure you get that right? Uh, I, I absolutely did. I think we all did. We felt the pressure to, to tell this story with some real authenticity, mm -hmm. to tell the story of Bob Lattice of the coach with mm -hmm. some authenticity. Um, I spent time talking to him, uh, talking to Beverly Latticer, uh, talking to their son. You know, we were telling the story of one of the players who has a tragedy in, in the film, and we wanted to get that right because his family, you know, was going to be seeing this movie, and we wanted to be, we, we wanted to serve that well. We wanted to serve it emotionally uh, and have a real authenticity to it. So we did a lot of research on that, and um, yeah, it's, it's a big challenge. Wonderful cast. You have Jim Caviezel, Michael Chiklis, Laura Dern, Clancy Brown. How important is it to get the right personalities, and is it harder to cast someone when they're a real person? It's always a challenge when you're doing a, a true story and you have real characters. You know, you're trying to cast actors who can embody, you know, what mm -hmm. those what those real life characters are. Um, so we cast it very carefully. Uh, I think we have a strong cast uh, by and large, and I think we have really strong performances. You know, in most cases, people will be very, very excited and very, very happy about it. I enjoyed making the movie with these actors, and and even beyond the names that people know, there are young actors in this film that you haven't heard of that I think are just going to blow people away. Beezer, Beezer, was, Joe Massengill. Joe, yeah, he was so good. He's wonderful, and he just took this little part and it just blew up. And he, every moment he has on the on the screen is kind of magical and endearing, and you love him. And I love Jesse T. Usher as well, who plays Tayshawn in the movie. Mm -hmm. Again, started with a, a, a role that wasn't that big, and every moment he has in a very different kind of role as a more antagonistic character, which was essential for me in telling the story, and he made them all live and breathe in such a, a real way and entertaining way. You've done basketball now with Coach Carter. You've done mm -hmm. football with When the Game Stood Tall. Uh, any plans on doing the trifecta and going doing a baseball story? <laughs> trying to figure some of that. Out with that. Um, baseball, so, you know, so, you know, uh, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> you know, that would be fun. I think boxing is probably the iconic uh, okay. sort of movie sport mm -hmm. uh, for film. Um, but what I love to do is a dance movie. I started out doing that, doing. Um, doing uh, Swing Kids and then doing Save the Last Dance mm -hmm. and that kind of symmetry in a way with sport, with the choreography of sport and the way I like to shoot mm -hmm. sport because I like to shoot it like it's, you know, just a brutal choreography in terms of football and, and so that's part of the fun. What is it about uh, sports films like that always like keeps people coming back to the theater? It's a simple thing in sports films to begin with. There's that notion of competition and mm -hmm. sort of when you have that push and pull between two teams or two and that struggle or between two characters in single sports, um, it, are, it immediately gets your blood going. And then we have a story behind it where you know what those characters are up against, what the obstacles have been for each character, whether they're physical mm -hmm. or psychological or emotional. Uh, you just have the makings for a great kind of story. And I think that's what keeps pulling us back to sport. And in this movie, you have all of those things happening, mm -hmm. and hopefully happening on a very, very high level. So um, I think our objective is to be inspiring, mm 